Today on Tocant, we are talking about yellow gold Rolexes, a topic that doesn't usually leave people indifferent. So first, we look at what sort of connotations yellow gold Rolexes typically bring to mind. Second, whether I give them a yay or nay. And third, uh, what I think is the right kind of yellow gold Rolex and a few of my favorite picks. Hi everyone and welcome, I'm Ben. So yellow gold Rolexes, they will bring a lot of very strong feelings in people and whether it's right or wrong, but some people will think, you know, they are too loud, they are too flashy, you know, it's too blingy, uh, they're gaudy, they're tacky, you know, you pick your adjective, but usually they are uh, very flashy in your face uh, and it's for people that, you know, want to show off their status or maybe their appearance of status. Um, also, I think it's been made worse maybe by the hip hop culture. Uh, we've all seen, you know, the yellow gold Rolexes day dates with a diamond bezel or the full iced out uh, day date or aftermarket market diamonds on them. Um, you know, uh, even Justin Bieber uh, was wearing one. Everyone's been wearing one. And uh, in a way, I think it cheapens the image of a Rolex by uh, the hip hop culture kind of um, making it mainstream in a way. Uh, also, you know, the iced out uh, Patek, it's not just Rolex, you know, but I think it's, it's, not, it's not helping. Um, another connotation it brings in, in people's minds sometimes is that it's your grandpa watch, you know, your old dainty yellow gold day date, you know, small. Um, it, it, it's, it's very old fashioned, right? There are also, you know, practical considerations. Um, a yellow gold Rolex uh, gold is a softer metal and it's going to scratch a lot faster. Uh, also, it's going to be a magnet for thieves and we've all been reading, you know, in some parts of the world, you know, people say in London, for example, it's, it's becoming dangerous to walk around with a Rolex, you know, true or false. Uh, but obviously, if you have a yellow gold Rolex on your, on your wrist, uh, it attracts attention uh, even more. So, you know, looking at all this, does a yellow gold Rolex still have a place in your collection? So yellow gold in your Rolex collection, do you give it a yes or a no? First, uh, let's look at the negative arguments. And some people will say that uh, you should go white gold or you should go platinum, go all the way. Uh, that's the stealth choice, is the more restrained choice, is more discreet, uh, it's the more sophisticated choice in a way. So, um, you know, which one would you go for then? I think if you go white gold, for me, I will go with a GMT Master 2, a meteorite dial. So not the most discreet one with a meteorite dial, but uh, I really like that one. Uh, and then if you go with uh, Platinum, then uh, which one should you go for? Uh, I would vote for the Platonna, the Platinum Daytona, uh, the one with that diamonds. And I think that would be the ultimate, uh, you know, white um, precious metal Rolex for me. Uh, now, um, another negative argument is that uh, now the fashionable colored gold to go for is the pink gold or rose gold, or in the case of Rolex, then the ever rose gold, uh, that's what they call it. Um, you know, rose gold has been made uh, popular by Cartier in the 1920s with the release of the Trinity ring in yellow gold, white gold and uh, pink gold. Uh, actually, Ro uh, Cartier also made platinum uh, popular for jewelry, so we don't give enough credit to Cartier sometimes. But you know, since the 1920s, then uh, rose gold has uh, you know come and gone, and sometimes it's popular, sometimes it's not. But now it's popular again. So uh, you know, some will say that if you're choosing colored gold for Rolex, you should go uh, with a never rose gold Rolex. So for me, which one to go for? I will go for the GMT Master II again, the new root beer in full ever rose gold. Um, very very nice choice as well. Uh, but um, I think that a yellow gold Rolex still has a place and is still a classy and fashionable choice in your collection if you pick the right one. So when going for yellow gold Rolex, the answer or the secret is to go vintage or neo-vintage. The yellow gold uh, has lost some of its shine, it will be less blingy, it will be less showy, uh, it will be a lot more discreet and restrained. Also because vintage watches tend to be uh, smaller and if, if not just in diameter but also in, in thickness or the lugs will be thinner so it will wear a lot better and attract less attention. So personally my four uh, choices for a vintage yellow gold Rolex will be as follow. So the first one I think you should go for if you're just starting uh, and you're kind of um, on the fence about going you know all the way full gold is to go for a vintage day just on a strap. Uh, a vintage yellow gold day just on a strap is actually very classy, very chic and it's very young. Uh, so if you're on the fence you know get one of those uh, and you can actually wear it very casually uh, even with the jeans. Uh, the second choice when you're ready to go full gold is to go with a vintage uh, day date, an 1803. And if you can find one with a fancy dial, so either um, with a Stella dial, for example, a green Stella dial, 
uh, or you go with a malachite dial or you go with a black onyx dial uh, yellow gold and black go very well together uh, or you could go uh, with a lapis lazuli dial blue lapis lazuli dial okay very nice 1803 in hong kong there are people actually who collect only yellow gold rolexes with fancy dials or my personal choice what i would go for is a vintage oyster quartz so the oyster quartz um, you know can be bought for actually less money than a fancy 1803. Um, they used to be quite affordable, but the prices have started to go up as well because it's, it's, it's quartz, um, it's less uh, expensive, but um, collectors are starting to uh, pay a lot more attention to them. And I think they're uh, over 20% more expensive than they were uh, maybe two years ago. So I will go for an oyster quartz with a wood dial. Then finally, the third and fourth choice are the obvious ones to go for a vintage Submariner. So uh, maybe a neo vintage one, like a 1680, either with a black dial or with a blue dial. My personal choice would be the blue dial. Um, you could wear it on the oyster bracelet or you could actually put it on a leather strap and dress it up. Uh, it's a watch that actually can also serve as your dress watch if you can put it on the right strap. And then for the GMT, uh, I will go the, with the vintage uh, 1675, the vintage root beer. And then for the extra vintage factor, I will choose the version on the Jubilee um, bracelet. So, you know, stretched out yellow gold Jubilee bracelet, maybe with a nipple dial, uh, you know, tiger eye, vintage root beer. Uh, that would be, uh, you know, uh, uh, absolutely um, baller. So in conclusion, I say yes to vintage yellow gold Rolexes. Uh, what do you think about them? Uh, would you get a yellow gold Rolex? Would you go new or would you go vintage? Let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, don't forget to ask yourself, you know, what makes you tick? If yellow gold Rolexes makes you tick, uh, subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.